Well, hello everyone. It's a lovely day here again today in Northern Ireland. Sun is shining. I just quick update here about comets that are visible in the evening sky at the moment. Recently we've been treated to a nice period of high pressure and we've had lots of clear skies, last night being no exception. I had the telescope out and I observed three of the main comets that are visible in the Northern Hemisphere. I thought I would share them with you just for a quick update in case you have a telescope of your own or large binoculars and you want to hunt them down. Okay, the first, the most easiest to find of all is C2019 Y1 Atlas. This is a comet located within Cassiopeia, the W, the famous W constellation. The comet is visible near the central star, the bright naked eye star Gamma Cassiopeia. If you sweep around that area with your telescope, and your telescope is suitably large enough to find the comet, in fact anything from about 5 inches or upwards or even less, aperture should be able to do it. The comet is a, is a diffuse but obvious circular coma with no tail visible in the sea of stars within that constellation. Further northeast of that, to the upper left of Cassiopeia, within the region of Camelel Opertalis, is another comet called C2017 T2 Panstars. This comet is the easiest to see of them all. Although Y1 Atlas is the easiest, easiest to find because it's located near bright naked eye field star, the other comet is slightly more difficult because it's in a more vacant region of sky. However, there are no other bright deep, deep sky objects in that area to confuse it with. So if you track it down using star hopping techniques or be sweeping the sky, then you should be able to pick up pan stars as well. And this comet is very easy to see. The comet is very well condensed. It has a bright condensation in the centre, it's compact and circular and slightly hint of elongation of a possible tail coming off one side of it. So it's a very striking object, easy to see in any telescope and even a good pair of binoculars. The most difficult of the trio is of course the more famous C2019 Y4 Atlas. This was the comet that was supposed to be a great comet in May, which we now know is not going to happen. This comet is currently disintegrating into at least four large fragments and has become stretched out along its orbital plane and fading as it does so into a rubble pile. But even though the comet is becoming a great comet, it's actually fascinating because of what it's doing. It's disintegrating. Comets are, some comets break up and it's quite fascinating to watch this process happen. So at the minute this was happening to Atlas and believe it or not, I actually thought it would have faded well below visual, um, visual detection at the moment for most amateur instruments, but it's actually holding together pretty well. I seen it last night, I found it, it's located within the region of Skye, below Ursa Major, and within Camelel or Portales again, and not far from Lynx. So it's in a very vacant area of Skye as far as bright stars go, for, which normally you would use the stars as a signpost or a, a guidepost to narrow down the area of Skye where the comet is. So it's a bit more difficult for those who don't know the sky too well. But if you have a go-to telescope, check it out, or if you have planetarium software, or use the online uh, comet finder charts you can get on the internet at the minute from heavensabove.com and there are others as well. Uh, the comet it's around ninth magnitude, maybe slightly fainter, but I seen it last night through the eight inch telescope quite, quite easily in a dark transparent sky. I was amazed to see the comet actually elongated. The whole entire coma is stretched out, elongated along an east-west axis, which was amazing to see. And over a period of 30 minutes, I've seen the comet move among the background stars towards the west. So it's quite fascinating to do that. So give it a try. Uh, three comets to hunt down. It's really good training for you. It'll train your eyes to see faint detail. It'll train your eyes for comets. It'll train your eyes for kind of galaxies and star clusters and nebulae and it'll hone your observing ability and enhance your concentration. You might even want to try sketching them. In fact, today I'm going to do a, a very basic sketch into my own observing logbooks, uh, describing the observation and showing the, the view through the eyepiece. So good luck with that. There's a few clear nights coming this week uh, in Northern Ireland here, so I'm going to keep observing every night, and I know my friends are doing the same thing. So observe them, sketch them, photograph them, enjoy them. And I should mention we have an Aura Comet on the way. A new comet has been discovered in the Southern Hemisphere using swan imagery. It was found near the sun and is now visible in the, in the Southern Hemisphere at magnitude 7.9. It's quite a gas-rich green comet and already shows a nicely developed gas tail and a hint of a dust tail already. Perihelion is in mid-May and although the orbit is still preliminary, the comet is moving north 
and will be at its brightest around perihelion or just shortly after perihelion and it will be visible from the northern hemisphere or very low in the sky at a short elongation from the sun. Uh, although we still don't know any uh, precise details yet but the comet should be in the area around Pisces Triangulum and eventually towards Perseus and Uriga uh, within those nice low regions in the northern twilight during the NLC season. So we'll keep an eye on that one too. So use the current comets to train your instruments and train your eyes and your observing ability and then hopefully if why certainly hopefully if this new comet swan just christened 2020 f8 swan if it does become bright then you'll be well kitted out to, to observe and enjoy it too as a quick look at my latest observing logbook here this is last night's observation wrote in of the three comets that's this comet atlas excuse, excuse the crude sketch but this is just a rough sketch of what i've seen for the eyepiece the elongated smudge slight enhancement towards centre which I've exaggerated slightly to show in this image and then on the following page two more comets Y1 Atlas and T2 Pan Stars I usually do a, a quick sketch using a, a pencil a B or a 2B pencil soft to smudge it better into the sort of coma shape I draw in the field stars, then I put the uh, I use a cup or a glass to put in the circle around it to represent the eyepiece field of view. Write a few details about the comet and the instrument used, and a full write up in the book itself. So that's today's observations done, and I look forward to more tonight.